Minnesota has only one black head high school hockey coach and his journey with the sport gave him a unique perspective and he's been able to share that since taking over his hometown team in 2018. This morning, Norman Seawright introduces us to Shakopee's own Calvin Simon. You know, there's not a lot of people that are in these positions. Uh, so obviously I, I you know, uh, take it very serious and, and know that I represent a lot. And, uh, but try not to take myself too seriously in that and, and have fun with everything that I've got going on. Um, and just, you know, it basically comes down to an attitude of gratitude. I recognize the privilege that comes with it. As Minnesota's only black head high school hockey coach. People are open to it and, and not only open to it, but, uh, you know, encouraging of it uh, and supportive of it. So I think that a matter of time before we see, you know, more people of color in, in coaching and leadership roles. Calvin Simon's journey with hockey mirrored the rest of his life figuring out where he belonged. I really wanted a more diverse locker room. In hockey, there was never a time I walked in a locker room and someone else looked like me. That led him to Concordia in St. Paul. Um, in football, it was always like that, and whether it was on my teams in, in the communities I grew up in or on an all-star team or something of that nature. Um, and when I went on my visits, uh, that's, that's immediately what I saw. I saw a bunch of people I feel like I could learn from their experiences um, and just felt more at home in the locker room. But football did not keep him away from his first love he jumped at the chance to lead his hometown hockey team. I felt nothing but support in this community. Uh, I felt nothing but support when I go and coach against you know, other teams and in other communities. Um, so that to me is, is really exciting. And he takes that seriously. We have core values and we have things that are part of just the ethos of our, our program and what we want them to gain as they go from being young boys to contributing men in society. Leadership is all about being the change you want to see in the world. And Coach Simon wants to pass on all the lessons he's learned to not only his players, but to other kids who look up to him. I want to do something that Calvin does. You know, I want to coach, I want to mentor. And, um, just be around the game in any way I can. Ben Bangura plays goaltender for South St. Paul. The Minnesota Wild Foundation connected the two. So we started to build a relationship and it's allowed me to be more of a mentor to him. And it's been advice that I would cherish for my entire life. And Calvin is doing for Ben what his own high school coach did for him in stories that mirror each other. You know, I remember after one game, uh, you know, a guy saying some, some not so good things. Um, and, and he looked at me and he said, you know why they say that, right? Guys on the ice, you know, getting frustrated and, 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 and using racial slurs as a way to take that out. And I'm, you know, face full of tears at this point, and I'm like, no, I don't, you know, it's probably what was beating me up. I was so confused. When you play against somebody like me, you know, I mean, it's going to make them uncomfortable. And He's like, it's because it's they're intimidated. They've never seen anyone like you so confident playing the game and making it tough for them to play and his advice makes me more able to handle that i'll never forget it it was just the spark for me that allowed me to then moving forward when someone would say something whether it was of racist nature or otherwise i, I had this reply of like oh so you're intimidated oh so you're you're, you're afraid of me oh and almost felt bad for that person moving forward. And so it, it was just this empowering moment where the right words and right mentorship was given to me at the right time when I was able to receive it. That shared experience means Ben will never leave the sport he loves either. You can play any sport, no matter what skin color you are or what nationality you are or anything like that. And Calvin strives to impart that maturity in every kid he teaches. And hopefully that shows up when they uh, you know, meet challenging moments in their life as they go on to you know, whether it's studying in college or get into their first jobs. And then the real test for us is, you know, what do you look like when you decide to become, you know, a husband and, and a father? And um, that's what I'm really curious as the guys that we've been coaching when they grow up, you know, do we really make an impact to help them be, you know, better young men? Norman C. Wright, WCCO 4 News. So inspirational right there. What a great story. I know, such a great story.